Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to sort numbers using bubble sort algorithm now guys the bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly swapping the adjacent elements if they are in the wrong order so basically we are going to repeatedly take adjacent elements and check whether they are in the wrong order or not and swap them now this algorithm is suitable for small data sets since due to its time and space complexities we are going to use this bubble sort algorithm on the small data set so for example as you can see this is the input array we are going to have 51428 as the unsorted order of the array of elements and we are going to sort them in such a way that all the elements are in the ascending order so how this algorithm works so basically we are going to start with the first index as i and the second index that is j and we are going to compare both these elements whether this one is it less than 5 if yes then we are going to swap these elements between each other and then the second element which will be 5 in this case will be checked with the third element which is 4 and if 5 is greater than 4 then again we will swap and so on. On. so ultimately guys after the first iteration of the outer loop the highest number will be present on the last index over here and in this way we are going to have all the elements in the ascending order inside this array so let us move to the eclipse id in order to write the bubble sort algorithm program so first of all we are going to define the array of elements over here so array of integer values we are going to take the same example over here so over here as you can see we have taken this example i'll simply copy and paste this over here as the content of the array now what we are going to do is first of all we are going to find the length of this array so that we don't have to find the length of the array again and again while we are iterating through our loops so basically it is equal to array followed by dot and then we have something called as length property over here so this will give us the length of the entire array that is the number of elements present inside this array now what we are going to do is we are going to have the outer for loop in such a way that int i it is equal to 0 and i i goes up to less than the length that is we have already found this length over here and then i plus plus so basically we are going to iterate through all the elements right from the first position to the last position in order to sort them in the ascending order now inside this what we are going to have is we are going to have another loop and we are going to have the jth index over here so j it goes from 1 up to j less than length of the array minus i so we have to take the length of the array minus i and then it will go to the next element that is j plus plus now guys why do we need length minus i over here that's because after the first iteration of the outer loop what will happen is we will have the highest element at the end of the array over here so in the second iteration we don't want that last integer to be taken in order to compare with the other elements or else it will result in a non optimized code over here and that is why we are limiting the index of the j up to which it should go whenever we are traversing the array of elements over here now what we will do is over here we are going to have the if condition now i it is equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 over here which means j is at the second element right now so what i am going to do is i will check whether array of j minus 1 which means the previous element over here is it greater than the current element that is j or not so i will do over here greater than array of j so in this case is 5 greater than 1 we are checking this condition so if yes then 5 needs to be swapped with this one element over here so what i am going to do is i am going to have the integer temp variable over here and i will say array of j which means i am storing the array of j value that is 1 inside this temporary variable and then i will assign this value that is 5 that is array of j minus 1 to array of j over here so we have array of j it is equal to array of j minus 1 and then the temporary variable which is having the element 1 we need to assign it to the array of j minus 1 over here so we will do array of j minus 1 it is equal to temp so guys this we had seen previously as well how do we swap the two elements by using a temporary variable over here so what will happen is in the first iteration of the outer for loop 5 will be swapped with this one element over here so it will be 1 5 4 2 8 next time again the j++ will make the value of j as 2 now and then what we will do is array of j minus 1 which is 5 right now after swapping in the previous iteration it will be compared with array of j which is 4 right now and again it will be swapped so it will be 4 and then 5 over here in this case 
and then again it will be compared with 2 so 5 will come over here and then 5 will be compared with 8 finally in which case 5 is not greater than 8 so the control flow will not go inside this if loop and since we have reached the end of the loop it will also come out of this inner loop and then i's value will become 1 right now and then in the end we have placed the highest number at the end of the array and in this way the bubble sort algorithm will work so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now and before running this code we have to print this content of the array as well so what i will do is simply we will have another for loop where int i it is equal to zero and i goes up to the length of the array over here and then we have i plus plus now i want to print the content of the array so what i will do is i will simply use the print function over here so instead of print ln we will use the print statement so that we get the content of the entire array in a single line separated by space characters so we have sorted array it is and then what i will do is i will use array and then the index that is i and then separated by space characters over here so we have space character let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting multiple sorted array labels over here so i'll just remove this label outside of this print statement so i'll just remove this and i have print statement over here once again so we will have the print statement over here and i'll say sorted array over here and this inverted comma as well so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see sorted array it is one two four five eight so we are getting the sorted array i will also print the unsorted array that we had previously taken over here so i'll provide unsorted array over here unsorted array and then again we are printing the unsorted array first and then after that we are going to have the sorted array so before this what i will do is i will simply have the print ln statement so that the sorted array is printed on the new line over here so as you can see unsorted array it is 51428 and the sorted array we are getting as 12458 let me just change the content of this array so i'll provide some other numbers over here so let's say 32 12 34 56 31 and then 23 and then one so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see this is the unsorted array that we have provided as the input in this array and now we are getting the sorted array as 1 12 23 31 32 34 56 so guys this is the way you can write a couple of for loops over here in order to use the bubble sort algorithm which will help in order to sort the array of integers based on your requirements so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to print diamond shape star pattern so stay tuned